So here's a licorice fern. Uh, the cool thing about ferns to note is that it's got this rhizome down here, which is a stem. It's usually underground or under something. In the case of the licorice fern, it's it's usually under moss. Um, and then the fronds that you see is just another word for leaf. It's just the fern word for leaf, and it comes off of the rhizome there. And so these are two fronds off the same fern. And another cool thing about ferns is that they don't use seeds or flowers to propagate. They've got these sori, these wind-blown uh, sacks on the bottom there. Um, so the cool thing about a rhizome is that it provides a little bit of protection by being underneath the ground, and uh, it's it's a good way of collecting water. You might be able to see like these little guys are kind of blurry, but that's little root hairs growing off of there. Um, and in the case of the licorice fern, it, it uses its rhizome to create this support structure so it can hang off of trees. It really likes hanging off the big leaf maple or the red alder. Um, so if you ever see a licorice fern, or if you ever see a fern up on a tree, it's probably a licorice fern. Um, but it can grow pretty much anywhere where it's shady and moist. Uh, so you can see it on the ground and on uh, sometimes on rocks or near water. Uh, but it really likes being up on, on those trees. Uh, that's called, uh, it's an epiphyte, when it's, when it's using another plant for support, but isn't causing it any harm. Um, and another really cool thing about licorice fern is that it's summer deciduous, which means that in the summer it drops its fronds off, because uh, it likes when it's cool and moist, um, and the summer is too hot. And so it's kind of the opposite of normal deciduous trees, where in the winter it, it thrives because it's nice and cool and it's not too sunny for it. But in the summer, in a lot of places, it'll, it'll hibernate.